guys, I have a Kroger and a Walmart grocery haul. The rest of the video will be a voiceover. Please excuse my parents. It has been a hell of a long day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is what I got from Kroger. I actually ordered the Mountain Dew Zero, but they were out, so I got three of the Diet Mountain Dew. They were on sale. I got two of the garlic naan breads because those were two for five. The croissants were two for six. Some meatballs. The very best ice cream in the whole wide world and Kroger is the only one that sells it. And some cinnamon raisin bread because it's delicious. And it was also on sale for like $1.88. Some Roma tomatoes. Some fresh Brussels sprouts and the saddest little acorn squash ever. <laughs> some radishes, some pears, and the Honeycrisp apples were on sale, so I got some of those as well. A bag of avocados, because yum, guacamole. And then some beets. I'm gonna freeze the greens from the beets and use those as well, because they're delicious too. Kroger had their brand of sour cream and dips for 77 cents each, so I got a natural sour cream and a ranch dip. Land O'Lakes butter was $2.99, some feta cheese. Um, their brand of cheese was also three for six. And then I got some white queso dip in the back because yum. Kroger's meat prices were especially good this time. That whole chicken was only $5 and it's like five pounds. The eggs were 97 cents, some flour tortillas, and the bacon was only $5.99 and I'm making some breakfast sandwiches and I didn't want to pay $10 for bacon, so good deal. I got some instant oats for baking, some ground nutmeg and ground cinnamon also for baking, a can of chicken broth, some lemon pepper seasoning, some wild rice and instant mashed potatoes just to have on hand for a quick side dish. Um, what else? I also got the Kroger brand baking chips. They were buy two, get one free. The butterscotch chips were two for five, but I only needed one. And some muffin mix because those were 10 for 10, but we only like a couple flavors. And a box of brownies to make. My total was 103. This is the non-food stuff. Some storage containers for my potatoes and such. Some cat treats, a jar to keep the treats so the cats don't get into them. Calamine lotion, shampoo, conditioner, shave cream, freezer bags, slow cooker liners, parchment paper, and a comfy but very cheap pair of shoes for myself. <laughs> they're only like $6, but they're pretty decent and comfortable. These are all part of the Ibotta free Thanksgiving offer. I got frozen veggies, corn muffin mix, turkey gravy, and also a two liter of Coke. But I don't drink regular soda, so I gave that to my daughter. But these items were all free, and they had other items, but they were out of stock. Some frozen green beans and frozen California style vegetable mix, what we usually get. Cantina style tortilla chips, our favorite, some parsley for marinated mozzarella, a bag of limes, iceberg lettuce, and some sad looking carrots for chicken soup. Sweet Baby Ray's, our favorite barbecue sauce, some korma curry sauce, which is my absolute favorite, vegetable oil, olive oil for marinated mozzarella, some walnuts, basmati rice, and some frozen spinach. The basmati rice, korma, and frozen spinach all go with tofu, it's delicious. Some very delicious sounding peachy pineapple juice. Italian bread, which is like my favorite. Tofu, which I used for dinner tonight. I made my korma curry. Two pounds of mozzarella cheese and some other cheese just to have for different meals throughout the week. Four cans of tomato soup, two cans of sweet peas, and two cans of sweet corn. My total was 104 and I got just under $5 back from my bottom. 